Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 10th video in my Fallout 76 Post Wastelanders main quest series. Last time we finished up here reading this terminal, and uh, this time we're going to go ahead and actually create the Scorched Plague inoculation, which requires us to go get a blood sample from a Feral Ghoul and a Type T Fuse. As I said in the last video, they've actually changed this quest from the original vanilla version of the game. It used to be you had to collect three blood samples, one from a mole rat, one from a feral ghoul, one from a wolf, and the tea, uh, the tea fuse would actually be found at uh, Greg's mine supply right there. The tea fuse is now over here at the train station, so they've made everything a lot more local and a lot more simple. Let's head out. Okay, it does not matter which, uh, which way we go in terms of actually getting the uh, blood sample or the fuse but I'm gonna go for the fuse first because we're already right over here as it is uh, this place has been taken over by these liberator bots and that actually uh, makes sense because uh, there's a little lore entry here where these things were on a train that came south out of Morgantown brought here by the from the uh, Mama Dolce's plant where they were manufactured in the uh, in the intelligence base underneath I can hear a lot of these things running around. There we go. I am out of ammo for my pistols, I think. I'm actually down to like a half dozen bullets except for maybe the shotgun. Yeah, so I'll use this for now. You got a note here? Letter of resignation. Got a job at vault -Tec. They say they want my expertise if America ever needs to rebuild the railways. I'm gonna miss you all. I'm serious. Railroads in my family go back over five generations. It's been an honor to be here. That's interesting. So I guess they're probably uh, in Vault 76. They're probably one of our fellow dwellers. There's a uh, stealth boy there. I say that because if Vault Tech did actually want them to be around to help rebuild railways, they would have taken them there. There's also a terminal here and a note. Bicycle. Jake, I'm telling you, I've never felt better since I started using the bike. Yeah, I know, we're trained people, but... I'm just going into the city and back. I feel the healthiest I have ever been. I swear. Okay, and there's this bike there. Where is this liberator? I'm gonna read that terminal. I just don't want this liberator sneaking up on me. Okay, well, I don't know where it is. And then this little closet here, some junk. But let's head back into that office. Okay. Okay, it's just a safe control. And that safe is right there. Okay. I'll take some of this stuff. I am actually getting fairly heavy on junk, but I can probably use... The, yeah, because my other piece of leg armor was broken, so we're good. Alright, let's see if we can't find this liberator, though. There he is. That was a little bit risky, but it worked. What am I hearing? Oh. Crafting monster. <laughs> okay, let's see. And of course, we're not here for the liberators. We're here for the Type T fuse. That's got to be upstairs somewhere. And we got the steamer trunk for the location right here. Oh. Did that just... Oh. There we go. I can use those fusion cells, too. Hey, there we go. Location boss gives us some gunpowder and steel scrap. Why would he have gunpowder on him? He's using a laser weapon. Oh, well. Uh, let's check out this room. I think we've got the Type T fuse here. Yes. It's got two of them, for whatever reason. I'll leave the other one. And now we need the blood sample from a feral ghoul. Uh, okay, we'll head out this way. But there's actually another terminal here. Let's read that, because I, I do want to get all the lore along the way, so... May as well... Oh! Jeez. Stimpak? Do I have any? It would appear that I'm out of Stimpaks. That is less than ideal. And they're coming for me. But they can't shoot me. Oh, they can shoot me. Healing salve. Go. Oh. That is weak. Got him. Okay. I don't know if that's the only one, though. 
Yes, it seems to be. Okay. Or at least none of the rest of them know where I am. More healing salves. And... Some rat away. I do have a stim pack. I don't know. Anyway, lunchbox as well. What is this gonna get me? Party favor of so much cake. What does that mean? Is that a stat of increase? A, a buff? So much cake is hungry slowed by 50%. That's not bad. Okay. Of course, you don't actually have to eat anymore, so... Anyway, though, uh, let's go get that feral ghoul blood sample. Oh, no, the terminal, sorry. Got so caught up with not dying that I forgot about the terminal. I just heard it. Here we go. It's uh, right up in here where the uh, two were just about to kill us just a minute ago. Automated train. That automated train scares the daylights out of me. What happens if one of the sensors blows and she decides not to stop? Human engineer, you can at least yell at and raise an alarm. A machine? It follows programming. That's it. Situation goes off script, it stays on script. And Mama Dulce's. What's all these extra shipments from Mama Dulce's? Isn't that a food processing plant? Thought the priority was moving military cargo. And again, yeah, the shipment from Mama Dulce's is what brought all those li those uh, those liberator bots here. Okay, we need to actually go upstairs. Okay, because the feral ghouls are actually in the city, and this is the fastest way to get back up there. I love it when the lighting's like this. It really just makes things beautiful. Even if things are ruined, the lighting makes things look nice. <laughs> Okay, where is this actually? It's pointing? Okay, not far. Oop. Wow, what a hiding place. Both of those scores really made effective use of cover there. Looks like the scores are still in control of the bridge up there. Alright, where are the feral ghouls? I see petrified corpses. Maybe up here? Yep! Oh, shoot. There we go. I don't think I can really get a blood sample from that one, but here we go. Alright, we got a feral ghoul blood sample. Time to go... Oh. Make something from that and inject it into ourselves. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring you back when we get over towards the hospital or if anything happens along the way. Okay, we are back. Let's install this fuse. Done. I don't see it anywhere in there, but... Uh, oh, wait. Do I have to... No? Just... I don't know. Anyway, okay. And let's uh, put the blood sample in here. And now we get to run the program, I believe. Yes, analyze the blood sample. Motor activated, please do not open the device. Cycling. Separation achieved. Commencing analysis. Anal analyzing. Analysis complete. Data forwarded to symptomatic unit. Symptomatic configuration complete. Ready for inoculation. Okay, time to get ourselves inoculated. Okay, we are now inoculated against the Scorched Plague. We can no longer be Scorched, of course, we couldn't actually anyway. Uh, the gameplay wouldn't allow that. But we are now at the quest Into the Fire, join the Responder's most prestigious unit, the Fire Breathers. Let's see. Let's get out of here and get over to the Charleston Fire Department. Where are the Scorched... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. 
All right. Okay. We're out of the hospital, heading to the uh, fire department. In fact, we've actually been past there. Uh, so we may as well just fast travel up there. All right, so uh, we're gonna perform multiple tests here. Um, one that's like actual questions, one of which is a physical test, and then there's the combat test. Uh, the questions are performed here. The, uh, the athletic exam takes place over in Charleston and the combat exam takes place in the Belching Betty, which is down here. Uh, let's head in here. And also we can uh, check out the Overseer's Log Firehouse right here. Overseer's Log, Charleston Fire Department. Automation used to define life in West Virginia. Now it's the only thing left. These training programs that the responders have sent in, how many survivors were running through these? It takes a certain calling to voluntarily run into the middle of a fire, rescue people, Looks like they kept up that spirit, even as the dangers changed. They must have fought the Scorched up close more than anyone. I need to find out what they knew. Hey you, want to talk for a bit? Here's Tiffany Brantley, one of the new survivors with Wastelanders. Are you here to become a fire breather too? I sure am. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, uh, Maybe we can study together. That knowledge exam sure is hard. How long have you been trying to become a fire breather? <laughs> well, <laughs> I absolutely crushed the fitness exam. I guess it's easy to move quickly when you're running for your life. <laughs> However, I've been having a really tough time with the knowledge exam. The questions on there are really hard. If only there was some sort of study guide. Luckily, all the information is here. Her voice is not matching up with the uh, lip syncing all the time here. Have you tried taking Mintats? Kims? How dare you suggest something of the sort? Unless... Uh, uh, no, no, no. Kims are bad. Where do I go to take the fitness exam? Oh, I'm so excited that you're interested in becoming a fire breather. It's not too far away, just over at the Charleston Herald building. You just press a button and boom, <laughs> you're off to the races. I bet you will do great. Good luck trying to beat my time though. I have another question. A fire breather is always willing to help. But you're not a fire breather yet. Who are you? Wow, uh, you want to get to know me? <clears throat> My name is Tiffany, and I'm trying to become the greatest fire breather that Appalachia has ever seen. It is my sworn duty in life to try and stop the Scorched Invasion from taking over the world, or at least Appalachia. What's a fire breather? Oh boy, am I glad you asked. I love talking about the fire breathers. They're only the most elite team of responders out there, dedicated to saving Appalachia from the dreaded Scorch. Where are the fire breathers now? Uh, they all gave their lives fighting against the Scorch. Bless their souls. Uh, if only they had access to the vaccine that we do now. The best way to pay respects is to continue their mission and keep fighting those Scorched. I have another question. Whatever you need to know, I'll try my best to answer. I have to go. No worries, friend. Let me know if you need anything else. Seriously anything at all okay uh let's see we got uh actually let me turn off new arrivals real quick because we're not doing that that's uh, the wastelanders quest there we go okay uh now there are multiple notes that we can look around for here that will actually give us information for the knowledge exam for example anti-scorched tactics anti-scorched tactics by dr claire hudson I hope by now I've made one point crystal clear. The Scorched are lethal. I think we've actually read, yeah, we have we read this before when it was on a terminal. Okay, so we're gonna leave that behind. Uh, there's also more notes in here. Also, we're gonna definitely loot all this lead and we're gonna break it down. Just like the Green Country Lodge, this is another prime source for lead. 
In fact, I think you can find much more here than you can there. This is weird. I'm walking now? I mean, I know I can't sprint, but I'm used to being able to at least run. This is odd. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering things. Anyway, I will break this stuff down. We'll go back and look at that note. Okay, I broke down that 500 pounds of lead into something that I could carry, and now we've got mind signaling quick reference. Fire breathers, signaling quick reference. While inside a mine or traveling as a group, talking needs to be kept to an absolute minimum. In order to communicate with others, your signal lamp should be used to communicate the following. One long flash, one quick flash, proceed forward. Two long flashes, halt in place. One long flash, one quick flash, one long flash, Retreat immediately. Repeat, repeating flashes. Danger. So, I don't know. The one where it's uh, one long, one quick, one long. The fact that that's longer than one long, one quick. When, again, this one says retreat immediately. That seems like you'd want to use a shorter signal for that. Anyway, for any of you who previously worked in mines, this may be different from what you're used to. We were forced to change our signaling when folks started running into ambushes by some of the less hospitable survivors. If you see the old signaling, be aware it's probably not coming from a friendly source. Okay, and there are a couple more notes here. Let's see if we can't find them. We already saw that one there. And yep, there's another note right there. Asphyxiation and you. From the Garahan Mining Company. A safety guide courtesy of the Worker Protection Team at Garahan Mining Company. Do you like breathing? Of course, we all do. But the hazards of the modern mind can get the best of us. This short pamphlet will walk you through the various situations you may find yourself in during your time in the mine. Dealing with fire. Found yourself in a smoky place with no breathing apparatus? Don't despair. Grab any near rag or cloth, dunk it into some water and cover your mouth. Then stay low as you make your way to safety. Dealing with water. Just like Luke B, Uncle Larry and the family barbecue, whenever water makes an appearance inside the mine, things can get out of control fast. If you find water is improperly draining during extraction, or water seems to be coming from places it shouldn't, it is your responsibility to report it to your supervisor immediately. Dealing with gas. Knock knock. Who's there? A mysterious gas from inside the mine. A mysterious gas from... Oh no, you're dead. Mine gases are no joke. If you or your monoxide detector smell something fishy while working underground, get out immediately. Immediate evacuation of the space should be your only response. Okay. And there should be at least one more note here. Something referring to... Uh, Herbal remedies. Let's see if we can't find that. There's more notes than just that one, though, so we're going to keep looking. Well, let's just look upstairs real quick, because I can't find that other note, but there is one more note that we can look at that uh, gives us everything we need. And that's right through here. That is this, the knowledge exam cheat sheet. So it just gives us the answers. Greg, these are the answers to the Fire Breathers Knowledge Exam. We're doing this together or not at all. Just don't let anyone else find this, okay? Evacuate as quickly as possible. A water-soaked rag. Gently bind the burn with, with clean bandages. Retreat immediately. One pint purified water. Two ash rows. Two blight. Two soot flour. Fall back and engage from a distance with firearms. This one, we both know pretty damn well. That's why we're here. Okay, and then we have uh, this right here, Madigan Scouting Report Garahan. We'll listen to that in just a minute, but there's also another note right over here, which is this Charleston Herald with the uh, headline of Man vs. Machine. Monday, October 18th, 2077, Lewisburg. Ever since the first pickaxe bit into Appalachia's mineral-rich bedrock, Hornwright Industrial and the Garahan Mining Company have been at odds. These local companies are virtually at war, competing against each other to discover which one of them will emerge as West Virginia's true titan of the mining industry. Hornwright struck the first blow when they erected the rock hound atop Mount Blair. Then Garahan returned fire when they unveiled their impressive excavator power armor. The latest salvo comes from Hornwright, who drew back the curtain on their newest innovation, the Auto Miner, a completely autonomous robotic mining unit co-developed with the local tech upstart, Atomic Mining Services. Once this marvel was revealed, all eyes focused on Garahan for their reply. But instead of releasing a technical innovation, CEO Vivian Garahan has dropped a bombshell when she announced the ambitious Man vs. Machine Challenge, 24 straight hours of rock-chewing mayhem which will directly pit Hornwright's auto miners against Garahan's own excavator power armor-equipped human miners. Although it's uncertain which company will emerge victorious, 
Perhaps this will end the long-standing feud between these bitter rivals once and for all. So, multiple issues with this note. First of all, Monday, October 18th, 2077. The date doesn't make any sense. You know what? I'm not even gonna gonna go through all this stuff. There's so many weird things about this note. I sincerely suggest you go check out my my Bromwell lore video. I'll link it at the end of this. It uh, it details all the issues with notes like this right here. Okay, and then if we go over here, we have the Madigan scouting report from Garahan. You don't mind if I record. You're captain, Melody. Don't need my permission. Hmm. So how's it look out there, Hank? Uh, well, I uh, found some more survivors. Started shooting at me the second they saw me. Like the rest. Sounds about par for the course. Seems like there's not a sane mine south of Mount Blair. Anything else? Ash is piling up faster than we expected. But going by the maps the earlier teams did, it at least doesn't seem to be spreading. So, we've only lost Welsh, Beckley, Lewisburg, and everything around them. Little blessings, I suppose. Oh, and actual good news. Here hand mining. Ha! Been a long time since I've heard good news and here hand mining said back to back. No kidding. But that excavator armor they made ruined the company. Rumor is it's tough as nails, and they still got the plans on site. Could you imagine what a patrol would be like if we could figure out how to make those things? Yeah, locals would hopefully be a lot less inclined to shoot first. Bingo. You give me a day or two. I can head back down there, see what I can do. No. Garahan can wait. You need rest. Head up to Morgantown. That excavator armor will still be there. Now go. So yeah, the, uh, he was just talking about how basically the southern part of Appalachia had all been lost to the ash heap, which my personal belief on that is that's thanks to the Hornwright Industrial Company and these purifiers that you can see sticking up all over the place. Uh, but we'll, well, you know what, I can mention a couple things about that real quick. These purifiers were invented by an environmentalist group that was trying to clear the air of Appalachia because it's terribly polluted. Hornet Industrial took these devices and they used them instead to do a form of ridiculous mining where they actually set mines on fire knowing that these purifiers with a few modifications could pull the metals out of the soot in the air and they could effectively mine just by burning the mines. So that's why the ash heap is the way it is. Anyway, we have another note right here. Fire breathers first aid guide. This is the one we needed. A cold compress. Gently bind the burn with clean bandages. Disease curatives. Collect the following ingredients, take them to a stove or cook pot, and combine. Forest flora. One pint, boiled water. Two fire caps. Two snap tails. Two blood leaves. Ash heap. One pint purified water. Two ash rose. Two blight. Two soot flour. Okay, let's keep those things in mind, in along with the other notes that we read. And let's go ahead and today. take the knowledge exam. Now, granted, we did already read the... Uh, <laughs> then they even have some of them up here. Uh, but they, uh, let's go ahead and take this knowledge exam here. We did already read the, uh, the answers, but anyway. Welcome to the Fire Breathers training program. You're here because we believe you have the stones to survive in the ash heap, and more importantly, to help us stop these scorched things taking over. This system will walk you through three exams designed to prepare you for what's to come, starting with the knowledge exam. Be sure to review your unit-issued study materials before starting. Good luck. Question 1. The tunnel you're traversing has begun filling with a strange gas, and you're without your breathing apparatus. What do you do? Well, like it said, evacuate as quickly as possible. We definitely don't light a match or get above the gas. Question 2. While traversing a smoke-filled building, your breathing apparatus has failed. Which of the following will serve as the best replacement? A water-soaked rack. Yes, cover your face in plastic wrap. Good lord. Question 3. One of your fellow fire breathers has been burned. The area is painful to the touch, but no blisters are forming. You've applied a cold compress. What's the next thing that you do? Gently bind the burn with clean bandages. Question 4. While exploring a collapsed mine, your team leader flashes their safety light quickly three times. What does this mean? 
Retreat immediately. Question 5. One of your squad mates has caught a case of sludge lung. Which of the following sets of ingredients, when cooked together, can be used as a cure? So definitely nothing with dirty water. Definitely not scotch, cigar, and two steaks. That sounds like the Ron Swanson cure. And we have one purified water, two ash rose, two blight, and two soot flower. Question 6. You've stumbled upon a band of scorched, diseased people brandishing clubs. Which of the following is the only acceptable method of engaging them? Definitely not charging in. Uh, we're also not going to sneak up and silently sit, slit their throats. The disease doesn't care if you sneak up on it. Fall back and engage them from a distance with firearms. And question seven. You've captured a scorched, infected man who you recognize as a childhood friend. What do you do? Convince your friend to go back to the responders? No. Bring him back to the station for questioning? No. End his life as mercifully as possible? Yes. Exam complete. Do you wish to submit your answer for processing? Yes. View results. Congratulations. You got seven out of seven questions correct. You passed. Initiating physical exam. Physical exam site found. Please proceed to the designated examination site. Okay, and with that, we've finished the knowledge exam. We still have to go on to do the physical exam, but we're going to do that next time. We're also going to go on to do the combat exam. Uh, I think we'll have enough time to do both of those. Uh, there is still that terminal upstairs, but we'll handle that once we've completed all the other exams. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.